Hey guys, welcome to another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about TOEFL and how to prepare for it and what is it. I scored a 106 out of 120, but Vivek here, which you might know from the GRE video, which I already posted, uh, he scored a 119 mm. out of 120. So TOEFL is a English language exam. It just proves that you know that language well, that you can survive in a US university or survive in an English teaching. Yeah university and the whole exam is divided into four parts speaking listening reading and writing it's much easier than gre um, i know this question will arise that should i take toefl or ielts it doesn't matter it's up to you i also suggest toefl yeah i because, suggest TOEFL. Uh, it's easier sending the ielts score is harder because you the ielts uh, people have to send them by post or something okay so it's much harder to send the ielts score to you know city. and also since when you're speaking and you're taking ielts right you have to talk to a person yeah whereas when we are speaking we just have to talk in a microphone and it's much easier to talk in a microphone than you are you will not get nervous right you just can't practice yeah. talking in a microphone yeah. if you have taken gre already if you're prepared for gre you can easily score over 100 in TOEFL. There's a list of 30 universities minimum requirements for TOEFL. I've linked it in the description. You can check that out. It has minimum TOEFL and IELTS requirement and it's around 79, 80. Sometimes it's like 103. Yeah. I think UIUC has 103. Yeah, it depends. It not only depends from university to university, it also depends from program to program. Mm -hmm. Some programs have their own requirements. But mostly STEM programs don't care much about TOEFL. Yeah, it's they just, just want you to cross the uh, minimum, requirements. minimum requirement. But TOEFL will affect you later when you're applying for a TA ship or something. If you have a good TOEFL score, you don't have to give uh, another English OEPT, yeah, so OEPT. Oral English Proficiency Test, which is, uh, I think it's fine even if you scored low and if you're making the basic requirements, yeah. it's totally fine because yeah. then you can just take OEPT, which is a free exam yeah. by the university. Yeah, so a uh, good TOEFL score just saves you from that hassle, nothing else. Yeah, that's it. And it's not difficult to clear off OEPT. Yeah. That's what I've heard. And I made a video as well. I'm going to leave that, leave the link here or there. I, I always get confused where is the link popping up from. So, yeah, how did you score? What was your, uh, tell me a breakthrough. What was your, where did you lose one mark? Uh, I lost one mark in speaking, where that is a section like 99% of people from our country lose marks because yeah, just because the accent and yeah the accent and the usage of words and mm -hmm. and because you are in a time crunch there you have 15 seconds to think about the question that has just been given to you and you have to speak for the next 45 seconds okay so if you have already given your GRE TOEFL will be damn easy for you. Mm -hmm. uh, keep your TOEFL date either two weeks before GRE or two weeks after that. I would say two weeks after. I would yeah. recommend. That's a more yeah. personal recommendation because then yeah, you'll be more I, relaxed. Yeah, I would agree with you because uh, it would be you would be giving your TOEFL in a better state. But there are some people who are not always that confident about giving their GRE exam or something. So giving your TOEFL two weeks before that. Might, in, might boost your confidence because it is a much easier exam and mm -hmm. once you get a good score there mm -hmm. you will feel better about your GRE chances so mm -hmm. choose however you want to but around two weeks is more than enough to recover from having given an exam and preparing for the next one how did you prepare let's okay. jump into that so okay uh how did i prepare okay so what i did was i gave one or two mock tests uh, the TOEFL IBT book that mm -hmm. has I think four or five mock tests. Mm -hmm. So I gave that and okay so TOEFL unlike GRE has very long reading comprehension passages and if you're not used to reading the comp the passages are much easier than uh, GRE passages but they're longer so if you're not used to reading you'll face a problem there and the reading section of TOEFL can be up to 90 minutes long. Hmm. If they have, I think, seven se seven or eight sections there, I don't remember exactly. Um, you, you, can, you can check on the ETS website for more details or even the I'll guide. I'll put it on the screen. Yeah. So, uh, so if you're not used to reading that much, mm -hmm. people get tired because reading section is the first section. People get tired and miss the last few questions in the last reading comprehension mm -hmm. because 
they lost time somewhere or something so what i did for reading is like you do not read the entire thing read just the first paragraph mm-hmm. and the first two lines of each subsequent paragraph mm-hmm. and like that uh, and just write down like in gre just write down very small very compact notes about what you just said mm-hmm. what each paragraph is about mm-hmm. and then because there are like 5 to 10 questions uh, per reading comprehension mm-hmm. so the first few questions will be about the first paragraph the first two three questions so you can easily answer them mm-hmm. after that from your notes you can tally okay which paragraph does this question concern and you can just read it then or just find just skim it and find where the words are coming and there will be a few keywords in the questions okay so where they will come in the paragraph the answer will 90% of the time will be within two lines before two lines after that yeah but if you don't find the answer there you can read more it's not that you just stop there and you have to find your answer there but most of the time you'll find the answer there and so like this it saves you time and you don't get tired from reading the comprehension and trying to remember it while you're answering the questions and you can just come back to the comprehension whenever you find a question from any paragraph and i'd say tofels reading section is not too difficult it's not it's not Honestly. difficult the only problem you can you might face there is time if you are slow in reading so that's why i suggested that instead of like many people try to memorize or remember what was there in the entire reading comprehension mm-hmm. then answer mm-hmm. okay so like that you might make mistakes or get something wrong but if you are finding the answer to each question right after reading reading the question mm-hmm. you won't make that mistake you are not uh, answering from your brain you are instead just reading out the answer what about the listening section okay in the listening section okay the first problem you will face if you are not used to watching uh, english movies or tv shows or something is the accent it will be an american accent so if you don't understand the american accent the only way you can get over that is watch tv, watch TV shows. shows and movies so yeah best way to like if if, if your parents ask you why you are doing it you can just tell them यूएस जाने के लिए कर रहे हैं टोफल के एग्जाम के लिए कर रहे हैं सो यू आर नॉट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम लाइक दैट एंड यू आर डूइंग इट फॉर अ रीजन एंड सो दैट इज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम्स द अदर प्रॉब्लम पीपल फेस इज अगेन ट्राइंग टू रिमेंबर व्हाट वाज सेड सो जस्ट राइट डाउन नोट्स यू हैव टू बी वेरी फास्ट एंड वेरी क्विक एट नोट टेकिंग बिकॉज़ द इन द रीडिंग सेक्शन यू कैन कम बैक टू द पैराग्राफ एंड फाइंड द आंसर्स लेटर इन द लिसनिंग सेक्शन दैट इज नॉट सो वंस इट इज सेड यू विल नॉट hear it again if you missed it if your mind was somewhere else you're done for and if a question comes from that you can just guess it or something and most of the time the topics are so obscure that you won't have read it beforehand that you can answer it and because in toefl all of the answers in reading and listening come from what has been told to you you they don't expect you to know anything about the exactly. topic so there are a couple of resources which you can use here just youtube videos there are so many youtube yeah, not videos full, on, not full yeah not full videos as well i just use youtube uh, i scored like 30 ha huh, is that easy it's easy you just write notes and the questions are easy just practice once yeah okay. practice and one more point about listening okay so this happens because in toefl uh, people come at different times to give the exam mm-hmm. even the same slot so while you are doing your listening section or even the reading section someone might be doing the speaking section beside you and in the speaking section people are screaming on the top of their lungs hmm. i don't know why they do that but they do that and even the mic is like this close yeah. yeah so people are screaming on the top of their lungs and it might distract you so you can either practice on that by running a movie in the background while you're giving mock tests or something mm-hmm. or just just don't get distracted by that mm-hmm. because in the end it's you who will be losing the marks exactly yeah and they don't consider like they don't give yeah. a shit about yeah what's going on in the background yeah it's just you who are losing score there yeah next section okay the next section is a speaking section this is the bane of the existence of most indians they're like shit scared of it it's not hard you don't have to use fancy words or something to get I thought it was easy dude yeah. like i thought no I people know, people try to use fancy words they don't with fake accents with the fake accents and all that doesn't matter just speak clearly yeah, I, was uh, walk, i was walking through like i don't i don't even know how to do american accent yeah so uh one one thing about uh, the speaking section is 
listen to the prompt understand the prompt very well and answer it accordingly mm. and you have to answer all six questions differently mm. they expect a different style of answer for all six i don't remember the types of questions but mm. those six types are fixed types and you can find them online you can also find templates or something for them online so i'd say uh, do one thing like watch the whole video once again when you take a mock when you finish a mock then you'll understand what we are trying to say much yeah. better yeah. So that's one thing I did for the speaking section which helped me a lot because otherwise many times because you only have 10 to 15 seconds to think about the prompt in the beginning you get flustered or something or and yeah even if you have a slow beginning or you are not that good at the beginning make a strong ending mm-hmm. don't end up stammering in the end or something because the ending will don't think leave the last impression yeah don't think that if you because you messed up in the initial part yeah that the whole thing is messed up you can still save up your ass yeah yeah and the uh, the people who are correcting that they understand that you only had 15 seconds they yeah. don't expect a perfect oratory performance from true, you true 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 Wait, they true. expect something that 15 minutes of thought can get out they expect you to be able to speak hmm. it doesn't even need to be completely correct or something it needs to be clear and it needs to be like convey the information you're conveying uh, the information that doesn't mean that you will stray away from yeah. what the question is but then is. they have a time but if you make so. a mistake it's okay you don't need to think much about it under the writing section yeah quickly cuz the battery is going to go out okay so <laughs> the writing section is the final section in tofel unlike gre uh, and it is much easier in tofel it is opinion and argument so in one you have to give your opinion and second you have to compare to one uh, i think they, they give a speech or something mm-hmm. you have to write notes for that and you have to compare it with the paragraph that is given there that is the argument one i think mm-hmm. so on those two are there uh, the main thing about the essays in tofel is uh quality is more important than quantity don't just type gibberish mm-hmm. stick to the points don't give your opinion unless the question asks for it in the argument i say you have to compare both you can give your opinion about the comparison don't give your opinion about what the topics are being discussed don't don't answer don't go off the rails while answering it mm-hmm. stick to what the question is asking you and if you have given a gre uh, awa you have practiced you can practice a bit more for tofel because writing can only be improved by practice true so yeah that's that's, that's kind of it So ten minutes of TOEFL. All right, I'm gonna end it here because my battery is running out. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Thanks to Vivek for <laughs> telling us so much information and writing the guide, which will be linked in the description. Go check it out. Um, if you want to contact Vivek, I'll leave his Instagram ID right here, and you can just ping him if you have doubts. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and until then, I'll see you in the next one.